What's going on guys and girls? We are here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to show you how to S rank uh, mission 5 which is called Over the Fence. So uh, this walkthrough is basically going to be a very quick and easy way to S rank uh, this mission uh, without having to worry about all the mission tasks and all that sort of stuff. So it's go I'm going to be able to complete this within 5 minutes so as we're being heli lifted in I'm just going to show you a few things. So uh, there is only one mandatory mission which is to extract the engineer that is the only thing you have to complete uh, to complete this mission so that is where the engineer is he's actually uh, really close to that piece of minerals and then I'm also going to show you uh, this cliff face here so this is uh, an area where you can climb up and it's a very quick and easy way to get into this base um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop off and get onto D horse you want to make sure you don't really need D horse I just use them so that I can get there quickly um, and he also helps you at the end of the mission getting out of the hot zone quickly. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hop off here and you don't have to do this but what I'm doing is I'm just showing you where all the guards are going to be posted on the outside of the base. So we've got a couple of guards walking down the road, there's a guard posted in front of them right there. There's another guard in this little watchtower right here and another one just in this other watchtower sort of area right there. So uh, the other guy, the only guy that's really going to bother you during this mission is this guy. Uh, so we are going to make sure we take him out. We're also going to try and do this without uh, any kills so that we get the no kills bonus. And so this guy we're going to put to sleep right here. And I think I end up hitting his arm instead of hitting him. So we're just going to hit him there and get him in the face so we can grab him. Now the guys walking down the road are going to eventually spot this guy if you leave him out in the open. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the cliff and we're going to throw him off. This will also actually stun him so he's not only asleep he's stunned so he will stay asleep for longer I believe. And we're just going to run over to the rock place that we marked earlier so that we can climb up and get into the base real quickly. So once you uh, climb up the rock face, what we're going to do is you're just going to run it towards the base. Uh, there is a quite a, a little bit of a distance that you have to cover um, before you have to worry about anything else. So uh, once we get into the base, there are a couple of guards that I'm going to show you um, first of all. So they don't really uh, bother you uh, during uh, this kind of a playthrough, but if you're trying to do some of the objectives, they could be uh, a little bit annoying. So as we come across here, we're just going to mark some guys down here. So this guy is just walking away from us. There's a guy that's always posted right there. And this is the other one guard that you got to really look out for is this guy right here. Uh, so we are just going to get rid of him as I get around that post and some of these ob obstacles. And we're just going to sneak uh, as close to him as I can. Now, because um, I have completed some of these missions before, they now have some of the uh, harder... Um, uh, equipment on them so this guy's got a shield and a helmet so you just want to make sure that you hit him in the face with the tranquilizer because you can still um, basically put them to sleep one shot if you, as long as you hit them in the face and there's also this guy right here so we're just going to tranquilize him and then the prisoner is um, located right here behind this locked door so what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock it you don't have to worry about anyone else coming through the area so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab him right here and then we're going to extract him. So we're going to use the Fulton device to extract him and we're going to actually put him through the hole in the roof over here. This is one of the optional objectives. You, uh, the only reason I'm doing this is actually because it's one of the easiest way to extract him. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to exit the mission area. So uh, we have completed the only mandatory objective and so now it's time to get out of here and get the S rank. So as we run out of here, we're just going to try and get out of here as fast as possible. So I'm going to uh, just head down the way we came in and eventually we'll get off the rock base and then I'll call over D-Horse and run out of the um, hot zone. So as we're going through, we're just going to keep on running. They're running and running. And I just uh, do a dive there. So if you press square on the PlayStation and if it was on Xbox, I think it's B button. It's the X button on Xbox. Um, you can actually just dive off the t uh, side and you can keep going. Um, it's a very easy way instead of just falling a little bit. And now we're just going to exit the hot zone. So we're just going to head uh, away from the base so that we can get out of here. And it will complete the mission and then that will be it. So I'm just waiting for this to happen now. Um, as you can see, I was just like wondering how far away is exiting the hot zone. I was actually very close. And there we go. We've left the hot zone. The mission will now complete. 
mission complete. And we will end up with an S rank. And I'll show you exactly all of the bonuses that I end up getting. Amazing. So here we go. We uh, completed it in 4 minutes and 50 seconds, that will give us 150,000 of the points that we need. Uh, then we also, you know, got the no kills bonus, then we got the no retries bonus. We also got uh, extracting him through the hole in the ceiling, which is another 5,000 points. Uh, so as you can see, 150,000 of the points comes from the time. Uh, so that is uh, very key towards S ranking. You can actually do it by completing a whole of other ones. And getting extra points uh, but losing ti uh, time points uh, as I did in the other one but that's all I'm gonna really do for this video so thank you guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys have been able to get s rank in this um, mission and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls